Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out a really cool product. It's a stainless steel mascara applicator. The product I'm using today is the Hourglass Curator. The Hourglass has designed a lash instrument made from sleek stainless steel. This is designed to give you full 360 range to evenly coat each lash from base to tip. Unlike many mascara ones, this one has no bristles and is brush free. So the applicator comes on its own like this and is designed to use with the Curator Accent Extend Wear Lash Primer and the Curator Realist Defining Mascara Formula. Now, each product is sold separately for the applicator, it's $78. And for each of these, the primer and the mascara, it's $36 each. Now, can I just say, I have never spent this much on a mascara ever. So this has to be like the most expensive range that I have. But I must admit the applicator does feel very high quality. There is a bit of weight to it, so it's not like light. It's made out of stainless steel and the tip of it, I think it looks almost like a screw. So there's no bristles, no brushes on there. So I am excited to see how this will actually work and turn out on my lashes. Mind you, I have tiny Asian lashes, so it's gonna be tricky. So first I'm gonna go and apply the primer onto my lashes. So I'm just gonna take the top off, pop the applicator in, twist it, and then twist it back. By doing this, it helps to prevent pumping air into the product. So I'm just going to coat my lashes with the primer. So I guess I'm just using it like a normal mascara, just like wiggling it from the base of my lashes to the tip. Okay, so I've coated that and now they're a little bit clumpy, so I'm just going to turn the applicator around and just use that to separate my lashes. And then I'm going to apply some onto my lower lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna do one eye so you guys can see the difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe the applicator clean before dipping it into the black mascara. So I'm gonna open up this and do the same with the applicator. I'm just gonna pop it all the way in, twist it, and then twist it back. And then that like evenly coats the wand. Now I want you guys to have a close look at the applicator. As you can see, because there is no bristles or brushes, there is no clump. This is completely clump free. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same and apply the black formula. Voila. It's actually really easy to use because it's tiny. And because I have such tiny lashes, I struggle with like really big fat mascara ones, so I'm quite liking this. So I'm just going to use the tip of this just to separate the lashes. I am pretty impressed. I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lashes. This thing is super easy to use. And so far I have not smudged it onto my skin, which is good. And because the tip is so fine, I can really get into these like lashes that I hardly ever apply any mascara on because it's so hard to reach. This applicator makes it really easy to coat your lashes from base to tip and it doesn't get all clumpy because there's no brushes and bristles on it. Also I find that the formula is quite lengthening so for my lashes I think it's actually doing a really good job. So I've finished applying the mascara, I applied one coat on this eye. So I could go heavier, but I want to show you guys the before and after. What do you guys think? I think it did a really good job with my lashes. I find that I hardly go out with just mascara on because I find that my lashes are really short and I just prefer sticking on lashes because I find it a little bit faster. But with this, I actually quite like the results. Also, before I applied the mascara, I did curl my lashes. Now, with most of the other mascaras that I've used, my lashes would drop by now, like literally straight after I apply the mascara, my curl will drop. But so far, it's staying. So I think the formula is really good. And also, I think it's really the primer. I hardly use an eyelash primer. I'm just gonna clean the tip of it now. 
but I find it a little bit hard to remove the mascara completely. Can you guys see that in the grooves there is still a bit of black in there? I'm using like a makeup wipe so maybe I need to use more like an alcohol wipe. Okay, I think that's the cleanest I can get it with this makeup wipe. So I'm just going to do the same and apply it to my top lashes and my lower lashes. Then I'm just gonna wipe it clean. Then I'm going to apply a coat of the black mascara. What's also really cool about this is that you can just use the applicator to tight line your lash line, like what I'm doing now. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I tight lined this eye and I didn't do it with this eye. So I just tight lined and apply the mascara wand really close to the base of my lashes and it gives me this effect. This is the result on both eyes. As you can see, it has definitely lengthened up my lashes and it's also kept my curl, which I'm really impressed about. Overall, I'm super happy with the results. I really like this mascara and the applicator. I think it's super cool. Um, the only thing I found difficult about it is removing the black mascara. I mean, a wipe can remove most of it, but inside where the little like crevices or where like they blazer cut it, the, the product gets stuck in there. So I think it's best to like soak it in alcohol, especially if you want to use it as a tool um, in your kit as a makeup artist, because this is great. It's stainless steel, so you can definitely clean it after. So if you want to replace your disposable mascara ones with something a bit more precise and easy to use, this could be a really cool tool to add to your kit. So just use alcohol to clean it after each client and you're sweet. Now it's time to rate the product. I'm gonna give the Hourglass Curator a nine and a half out of 10. I think this is a really good mascara. I'm gonna to have to say it's gonna be one of my favorites, definitely my top three. So that's pretty high up on my list. In terms of the use, because I'm a makeup artist, I can definitely see myself using it on clients because it's just so hygienic once you really clean the wand. So I didn't give it a 10 out of 10 because of it's a little bit hard to remove. So I think I still need to play around with it and see if I just soak it in alcohol or use an alcohol swab if it gets rid of all the mascara on the wand. But in saying that, that's not a problem. I think using on yourself, this is fine. This is absolutely amazing to use, especially on really short, stubborn lashes like mine. I'm really impressed with the results. Also, the price may be a little bit out of some people's price range, but it is the Hourglass and it is a very premium high-end brand. And seriously, the quality of these, they're not like those plastic mascaras you buy at the drugstore. This is definitely more high-end. So if you're looking to splurge on something, maybe, maybe try this. So that's it to this episode. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. If there's any products you want me to try, any new ones that you've seen and you're wondering if it works or not, comment and let me know below what it is. And if you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe to stay updated with future videos that I post. I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.